Carissa's my daughter's outfit it just came out so good she got the perfect dress and we know we knew she was gonna be Tinkerbell okay explain the process so we went thrifting at Goodwill and we found this dress uh, it was probably around like five or seven dollars and the color's not really coming through because it's it's more of a green it looks teal in the camera but we picked it we really liked that it had the triangular like bottom so it's not like perfectly straight. yeah she didn't even cut that so it looks very fairy like and yeah. then we just paired it with the wings which were also from goodwill in their halloween section yep and i'm just wearing them with some doc martens um to you know give it and those are hers you know my own flair to it and then i just have my hair up in a bun and then and i did up. the little hot fairy looking highlighter glitter okay um and then now she's i'm gonna uh, show you um our other peter pan thrifted outfit now okay so we have this <laughs> outfit here <laughs> We just went to the men's section and we got this cheap green polo um, for Peter Pan look. We just did some triangular cuts on the sleeves and on the collar. And then I actually ended up making the v-neck longer because the V for the polo was a little too short. Um, and then <laughs> we just folded them in half to make the holes. and. We ended up getting this twine, like, or not twine, it's like a rope, it's rope. from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Um, and it came out like a thicker rope, so we just separated it. And the hair. And, yeah. Hair, <laughs> and let's see how you guys look together. <laughs> let me Let me get everything. Hey. Yeah, and you should do like a panning. Okay, you guys look cute. Okay. <laughs> so I 
did the, the easy way because yeah. I couldn't find any costume for me. So I was like about to give up and then I went to the women's section and I found this skirt and I just thought, okay, let me just do schoolgirl. I know it's like the simplest outfit, but I decided to do that. And then I found this vest and the shirt is mine and the shoes are mine and the glasses are mine and the headphone, the headphone, the headband is mine. So the, the bulk of the outfit was thrifted and this is actually wool and I think it's cashmere, which was cool. So, so it is a vest, which is what, what I was looking for to go with the skirt. And I think this skirt is towel boots. And this was, this is like a designer guy that I don't you know. Oh, and I bought the ribbon from the dollar store and I made my own little, what I call Kentucky Fried Chicken tie, <laughs> Colonel Sanders tie. And that's the whole outfit. Then this is, he has a, a very expensive costume. This is my husband. It's called Barbecuing Dad. Hot Husband. Hot Husband. And so he has to bring the grill with him everywhere while he's grilling. And then look at the outfit. You got just a gray t-shirt. You got some, what are these? Uh, they're swimming trunks. And then what are these shoes? Some really old Adidas. Adidas. And, and there you have it. And a Coors Light. And a Coors Light. And we're having a little barbecue uh, Halloween party. And he's doing the cooking. Having a little Halloween party, and this is the little table setting. I don't have any Halloween uh, plates, but I got these from the dollar store, and these are also from the dollar store. So we're making it really simple. What I did was buy napkins that I found at TJ Maxx, and uh, I bought cards for everybody from the dollar store, and they were really cute. And then I just have what I had already in the table. And each place setting is like this and we're having like a barbecue kind of Halloween party. And yes, that's our, our setting. It's really simple. Didn't have to spend too much money. And uh, yeah, chicken is ready.